Why did that not happen? Oh, because I already reset it. We already reset it. Remember we reset it too early as there was a bug in the code? So I'll just set it to a five because it was five before we reset it prematurely. Yeah, that way we'd have to run back through it all again. So then I'm gonna move back up again. I'll actually go back to down to the bottom again to where it actually would have executed some of its final things. Okay, so from here, we're at the bottom of that pick. We performed one pick operation, but then we did not perform the other five pick operations like we should have. So again, starting from here at the bottom, we'll jump up to the top. Now we will jump to level 20 again, as we should. Okay, we'll then execute past this. Now this won't execute because register two does not equal five yet because we have not performed our five picks. We only picked one time. So now we'll perform the second pick. <clears throat> we'll add. Okay. Whoa, whoa, what just happened there, man? The data got reset again. How'd that happen? Oh, troubleshooting logic off the live, man. Oh, we didn't delete. Yep, we didn't delete that logic. So this is what you call a bug in your logic. So a lot of, almost all bugs are like a human made bug where we, something's programmed in there and either you forgot to delete something or it didn't perform the way that you thought it was gonna perform. Okay, back to the bottom of this one again. Shift forward, you sure you wanna start there? Yep. Boom, boom. Uh, we didn't reset our, reset our data again. Okay, go back to reset our data. So we need that to be a five that's what it would have done if we didn't have our bug by the way just like being a good programmer is knowing stuff like this so that way you can just go manually plug in the number go back to your program and execute the thing that you're actually trying to uh, like trial and test because yeah. we already identified what the problem was we don't need to go back through from the very beginning of the program we'll just start from here so again it's going to jump down to the bottom also we're going to have a bug here we're going to have to remove this register zero and do the same if statement up here. Or actually, no, it won't do that because that other one's on the bottom. Okay, do the math. So also another thing that got messed up is our data here got messed up. So even though we've performed multiple picks, we just now started adding the data appropriately. By the way, one thing that's always important is to look at like the final one, the final uh, pick. A lot of times that's what will be off. Sometimes you'll only pick four when you meant to pick five, or you might pick six when you meant to pick five. Sometimes the, it'll, the count will be off by one. And so you might need to move like either where your math is at or where your if statement's at to match the exact number that you actually wanted to pick.